Hello guys, so I thought I would do something a little bit different and this week I filmed everything that I ate for breakfast, lunch and dinner and I live out of home so I like to keep my meals really quick, simple, easy, yummy and affordable so I really hope you guys enjoy and get some inspo out of this so let's get straight into it. So something I love to do every single morning is start my day off with a coffee or a tea and for my breakfast this day I had some bread from my mom's bakery. I'm literally so blessed to have her as my mom. She makes the best bread. On to lunch I had some pasta. So here I'm just chopping up some tomatoes, mushrooms, garlic. This part is so satisfying. I love it. So yeah, boiling the pasta and then I'm just frying up the chicken, garlic, onions, adding the veggies and honestly all I added was like a can of tomatoes and I seasoned it with salt, pepper, a little bit of herbs and voila, so simple, so easy and so delish. For my snack, I had this, and yes, it's definitely not the healthiest, but life is too short to not eat what you want, so I demolished that. On a fry pan, I'm adding some oil, adding the salmon, and then on the same pan, I'm cooking up the veggies and making sure that they're still quite crunchy, seasoning it with some salt, basting it around, and I served it with some rice seasoning and this was my super healthy and delicious dinner. Oh my god! You're welcome. So today I'm not really in the mood to cook like a proper meal so I'm gonna be a little bit lazy and I'm gonna have me goreng which is just like an instant noodle but Asian and it's so fucking good but I want to feel a little bit healthy so here I'm just cutting up veggies I'm putting in some capsicum, um, carrot, some bok choy I'm also cutting up here some mushrooms, onions yeah, that's the carrot that I cut up and then I'm probably gonna put in some ham and then that way I'm obviously still eating unhealthy noodles but I'm still getting in my veggies in and then this will keep me fuller for longer so water's boiling and I'm just gonna chuck this one in the water quite messy but trust me this tastes so good i just feel really bougie because i've added all these ingredients in but i'm gonna enjoy this as my very late lunch today i'm going to make thai red curry so i've just got this paste just from coles and then i've got coconut milk chicken and the veggies that will go in it so let's start cooking that's my boyfriend calling me okay so this recipe is so easy that the hardest part is probably just cutting up your vegetables <laughs> and then i've got the chicken cooking in the paste right now so i'm about to chuck in all the veggies and let that simmer and my rice should be ready yep For my first workout, I'm having scrambled eggs and mushrooms on the side and I've got my toast cooking up and of course Tabasco on my eggs because yum! Having one with peanut butter. Is my breakfast today and I'm gonna go demolish this. So for lunch today, I really feel like some pasta. And the reason why I'm weighing it on a scale here is pretty much because I always overestimate the amount of raw pasta before I cook it and I literally end up with a whole family worth of cooked pasta. So to avoid that, I always scale out my pasta. I'm also going to have a salad on the side and I think I'm just going to cook up some of this crumb chicken as well. The pasta I'm going to make is this Japanese 
um, flavor. Mix the sauce, and I think this is a seaweed topping to put on top. Okay, so I've just chucked my salad in here. And I don't know if you can smell, but there's definitely bits of dirt in there. Leaves last a lot longer. So after the chicken was ready, I just cut them up into little bite-sized pieces. And then I also mix the pre-made pasta sauce with my boiled pasta. This was so, so yum. I think I'm going to have it today. Kewpie mayo, of course. And then just some lemon juice. As my pre-workout meal today, I'm just having crumpets. So I've just toasted them. On one, I have an egg on top. And this one, I just have stewed apples with some cinnamon. And I'm about to drizzle some honey. So I'm just going to start throwing in the ingredients. Flavorless, like you can't taste any of it. That is my post workout smoothie. This is my go to, and it is so good. So, I'm just having pasta again, and I'm just combining all the ingredients together in one pan, and also boiling the pasta on the side. And is it just me, or does anyone else just do this with their pasta? Because I hate washing the sieve. And I'm just plating it up and then I'm topping it off with some basil and also chili flakes and Tabasco. I'm just gonna make like a little yogurt bowl because I am craving something a little bit sweeter. This is my favorite granola. It's just the Coles brand. And I think it's like five or six dollars for this massive bag. Um, and it is like apple crumble flavor, which tastes literally like apple pie. So this is my go-to granola at the moment. Just got a Chobani for some protein. And microwave some frozen berries in the microwave, obviously. This is so easy and it's a really good high protein snack. I'm going to make a sauce for my dumplings. So I've got soy sauce, chili. I'm just going to add some of that. Dash of vinegar. I'm going to mix that up. So I left dinner till really late this night. So I just had a really easy tuna open grill toast. Not really feeling, so I'm just having another piece of bread, and then I'm gonna smother some biscuits, and then I just have some apple slices, and that is my very, very realistic, can't be bothered dinner. Yum. For my post-workout breakfast meal, I'm having my favorite baked protein oats these are so good and i'm just adding on some toppings you can honestly add whatever but i love to add a spoonful of biscoff and i'm going to drizzle on some sugar-free maple syrup by full of pink himalayan salt basically just normal oats except i chucked it in the oven for about 30 20 30 minutes just depending on how strong your oven is but basically the top gets really hard and then the inside is still really nice and soft so good and i hate normal oats so this is like my favorite way to enjoy my protein oats so this is one of my favorite super easy lunch meals so all you do is just grab toast and then chuck whatever veggies you can find in the fridge i also added ham for some extra protein you can literally add anything like chicken salami even and then i also boiled an egg mash it on top and drizzle some barbecue sauce
All I seasoned it is with pepper, salt, a bit of chili, and a bit of mixed herbs. And then I'm just boiling some corn. I have it with some broccoli. So this is my big plate of pasta. I definitely overcooked pasta, but I'm super hungry, so I'll probably smash it all. Anyway, I've got some corn, and I've also got some steamed broccoli on the side. And I've also been snacking on some watermelon, but I'm so excited. Mm-mm. I love pasta so much. And I have nothing, I don't know, I love broccoli just on its own like this. Mm. And when I steam it for the right amount of time, it's like just crunchy. It's just so good. Mm. It's still a bit cold. Yeah, that concludes this video today. Thank you so much for watching if you stuck around to the very end. Make sure you hit like if you liked any of the meals and subscribe to my channel because I am on uni holidays right now and I'm planning on pumping out a lot more videos during this break. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.